Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Pectus PT from fixpectus.com. In today's video, I wanna talk about how exercise actually fixed my case of pectus. So how it actually happens, okay? If you look at my older photos, you can see kind of the case of pectus that I had before I implemented exercise training and nutrition and stretching to improve my case. And so you can see very clearly the rib flare actually used to upset me more and you can see that very prominently in this photo. Okay, you can see the pot belly rib flare I have in this side angle photo as well. That was something that really upset me. I I remember there were some photos of me where I was wearing a shirt and you could see like the pot belly and rib flare through the shirt, like just protruding and then just nothing in the hole. And that was, yeah, it made me very self-conscious. So you can see I had a mild case granted, but you know, severe enough to really get me down and really have a toll on my, on my life. And so how I fix that, firstly, I wanna clarify again the word fix. I'm not meaning miraculously make my chest flat, but if you look at these videos and photos of me training and you can see my body that I've developed now, I still have an indent. Okay, and I still have that same structure, but what I've done is I've built muscle in key places around it, so it's no longer noticeable. And I've built a body that I'm actually confident in, and I opened my posture to make my pectus less noticeable. Something I realized when I was younger was, because I was self-conscious and just because of the tight chest muscles associated with the condition and the poor posture that I had developed, I was making my indent look a lot worse, okay? And I was always hiding it and rounded over. And so when I opened up my posture, built this muscle, that's how I fixed my pectus and built the confidence to take off my shirt confidently, which is how I define fixing pectus. A cosmetic case is just building a body that makes your pectus so much less noticeable and a body that you're confident in. And so I wanna break down how this actually works though, the actual method and, and how exercise actually creates a change. And so the first factor is the pecs, okay? Look at what my older photos, and you can see there are no pec muscle development. There's no pecs, right? And so what happens when you have no pecs is it makes the deformity very, very obvious. And then what happens when, fast forward to when I built my pecs and I built sculpted pecs, okay? It's not just about big pecs, guys. It's about lean muscular pecs where you have obvious separation from the ribs and they're obviously sculpted and you can see the striations and the defined muscle of your pec muscles. So what happens when you build pecs, especially if you have a case with a similar severity to mine, is it really creates an illusion. It creates an illusion and there's optical illusions are a thing and it no longer makes the indent appear like it's a deformity but it just makes your pecs look bigger and the indent almost just looks like it's there because you have big pecs okay and for me i actually think my indent actually accentuates my pecs and makes my pecs have more protrusion and look bigger than they actually are um, and so it actually ended up being a blessing for me in disguise but the pecs is really the key thing that we're looking at here to visibly change how prominent your pectus is and really getting the pecs to sculpt around the indent and having clear defined pecs is really really key guys so you know i implement a lot of chest training for my clients a lot of chest isolation work with flies and a lot of exercises to actually build a mind to muscle connection with your chest okay things like the plate pinch things like the one arm low dumbbell fly what they're so good at is forcing a great mind to muscle connection with your chest okay and so they also i also implement a lot of adduction based exercises so we're recruiting the non-spanning chest fibers which are in the middle of your chest that don't actually go all the way out to engage around the indent okay and this is how we build a full and whole and sculpted chest right around the pectus condition and that's how the development of the pecs is key for masking the pectus now with the pecs i also mentioned them protruding from the ribs now this only doesn't hide the sunken chest but it also helps to hide the rib flare and if we look at my older photos you can see my rib flare and as i said earlier in the start of this video that used to upset me more than the indent itself and so what happens when you sculpt your pecs and they protrude more than your ribs is it hides the rib flare. Now when I'm in a shirt, like you can see me in this singlet now, the, the shirt is sticking to my chest, not my ribs, because my, che my chest and my pecs protrude more than my ribs, okay? And this is really fundamentally key. It helps mask the rib flare tremendously. And masking the rib flare, I think, is really key for masking the pectus condition. Now, aside from getting the pecs to protrude more than the ribs, the other thing we want to do is develop a six pack. We want to develop an epic abdomen, you know, sculpted muscles, abs, obliques that pop. When you have these muscles here, it works just like how the pecs that are sculpted mask the indent. Abs and obliques that are popping over your ribs help mask the rib flare tremendously, okay? So that is a real key, guys. I do a lot of ab and oblique training for my clients. I did a lot of ab and oblique training myself. You know, I'm almost implementing abs to some extent in the day in every workout that I program for my clients, okay? The abs are key and something that we train a lot. Getting big developed core and obliques and abs is key for the rib flare, honestly. It also helps with anterior tilt, and if you have anterior tilt posture, that makes the rib flare and pot belly appearance of the pectus condition look a lot 
lot worse. And so strengthening your core is one of the fundamental things for improving anterior tilt. Now, this gets me onto the topic of posture, okay? So this is the other way that I fixed my pectus was improving my posture, which I mentioned at the start of this video as well. And so you've got the two postures that really accentuate the condition, which is anterior tilt and kyphosis or rounded shoulders, okay? And so anterior tilt, as I mentioned before, it accentuates the rib flare and the pot belly. And so we wanna strengthen the core, but we also wanna loosen the hips and strengthen the glutes. They're the main drivers of change here when it comes to anterior tilt. When you don't have anterior tilt anymore and you have like a core that is in the right position, it like just like look at these images and you can see how much that tilt makes that pot belly and rib flare look way worse. Just bring it in, bring your pelvis in alignment. It's so much better guys. Honestly, it, it's a really key thing. And then the other posture is the rounded shoulders. Okay, this is, this is caused due to tight pecs associated with the condition. And also, and also a lot of people who start training for pectus make a huge mistake where they just train chest but never do back. So as a result, it's really making their posture worse and makes the condition look worse. And so what we need to do is stretch the chest, strengthen the back. They're the main drivers of change here. We also want to improve our thoracic mobility as well and really strengthen the, the mid back. So we wanna do a lot of pulling movements from in front, like seated rows, they're amazing for this, but also pull ups or, or you know, lat exercises are still gonna be a, a benefit as well. So guys, they're all the factors that help me change my body. Now it's worth noting as well that just an overall impressive physique, so arms, shoulders, you know, legs, just overall an impressive physique, help create the illusion and draw the other, and draw the viewer's eyes away from your deformity and just onto your amazing body and your amazing sculpted body, which is really key, right? We don't want people noticing the way deformed anymore, but we want people just paying respect and being impressed by our physiques. That's how we gain that confidence in ourselves, right? And so it's not just about these key muscles for pectus and you know the posture for pectus. It's also just about having an overall impressive physique. Okay. So we don't want to be neglecting any other muscles. You know, for my clients, I still program for them legs, shoulders, arms, just not as much volume. We focus more on muscles that are going to directly relate to the pectus more. But developing these muscles is still important and do contribute in a way to masking the pectus because it is part of the illusion of just people being impressed by your physique rather than noticing your deformity. So guys, I hope this video was helpful and kind of clarified how I fixed my pectus, kind of the areas that I focused on and what and what I did with my training and really gives you more insight into what to do. If you are interested, then you can become a client. I have a recent video that I posted that shows how I actually helped all of my clients themselves um, and what the kind of client experience is with me because it is important that we're taking a one-to-one -one approach with the client because not all cases of pectus are the same. You know, I just explained how I improved mine, but that was my case and I have a more milder case and so the approach can change depending on the client. So um, I definitely recommend booking a strategy call with me so you can meet with me. I can personally meet you and then determine the best approach for you. Okay. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember if you have a friend or someone with pectus, recommend them to my channel. I'm sure I'd be able to help them as well. And uh, if you are interested, then really do book that strategy call and I'd love to meet you. Thanks guys.